I remember the lady at the counter was like telling me, okay, you use this, huh? that's it. You don't even use anything else. So I was like, so how can it be? Yeah, I was just like, it's a desert here, okay? <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm Yen. I'm Fiona. And today we have special guest again. Chris Yay! is back with us Hello. for the second time. And this episode, we're going to talk about products that are meant for dry and sensitive skin. I think it's something that three of us happened to have experienced recently. Um, it was very funny because, um, was it like, I think that was like maybe two, three months ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a flare up of like, um, it's almost like an acute eczema where the whole face around the cheek area even my thighs, and sometimes my arms, it will flare up when I drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I shouldn't say that, but anyway, yeah, so I went through the stage of um, very bad skin condition, dry, inflamed. I think that's when uh, I started looking for uh, products that are meant for very sensitive, very dry skin. So I was sharing with Chris and mm. Fiona, and then they told me that, oh my god, high five, I also went through the same Phase. So maybe you want to share a little bit more about your experience with the flare-up. <laughs> you should go first. Yeah. Can I just say that I didn't want to high-five at all. <laughs> it's really bad. It. Yeah, mm. I, I didn't want to high-five. And I, I never thought in a million years I'll be here filming an episode for dry and dry sensitive skin. skin. Because I've honestly never had that issue at all. Um, so when he told me about it, I was just like, oh yeah, 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 it's very serious. And then next thing you know, by some magical ways, uh, whether it's via Telegram, it got sent over or via WhatsApp, it got sent over. And then like two, three months later after his case, I think I got the same situation as well. Um, it literally just happened like overnight. I didn't know what happened. I woke up the next day and my cheeks uh, were absolutely red. And then uh, the texture was like, bad and I could see very very dry patches it was really just an overnight thing so nothing of my my skincare regime has changed clearly but that happened overnight and the first person I think I I told uh you know, it was literally like, yeah, and I was like, what the hell? Like, how did this happen? You know, and that's why he was like sending me pictures of products that you could, you know, try using, what you could do next. And that basically also led me on a journey to find what works for me. So, you know, actually, I'm, I'm educated in the beauty line, right? So, you know, having eczema is something that's very bad for my work daily because I go to work and then people see you like, oh, you're educated, but why your face is like that? You know, it's red. <laughs> oh you know, it's, that's quite bad. That's quite bad. Because I've been testing product the whole time. Exactly. <laughs> so so when Yen actually messaged me and yeah. told me that he is having a very bad eczema mm. and what he's using actually do help his skin a lot, I actually shared the same thing. I also think that it's because of the weather change nowadays, yeah. like because mm. sometimes it's very hot in the day and then it actually rains in the evening. So in terms of our skin condition, mm. we're not able to adapt it you know, on the products that we use or it's not enough moisture. That's why it causes a lot of eczema to happen. Yep. Yeah. So today I think we're going to share a lot of tips and also the products to all of you that are having this issue with the us as well. Yep. So I think um, to kick start the episode, we're going to start with um, the cleansers. Mm. I think, um, I don't know about you guys, you know, before <laughs> I really got dry and sensitive skin, mm. right? Um, I always believe in foaming cleanser. You know, I like the squeaky clean, mm. like, oh, key, 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 like no oil, nothing. Uh, but that really changed uh, my mindset because I was using a tea tree cleanser for oh, wow. that. That's for oily skin, mm. right? And when That's I, quite strong. Actually. It's very yeah. strong. So yeah. when I got um, the flare-ups, right, once I used it, actually not even tea tree, any foaming cleanser, like, I would mm. say, mm. and it will immediately trigger the rashes to come out. Um, I think the very first thing which I changed uh, my routine is to go back to a gentle cleanser like Cetaphil. Uh, actually, I used to hate Cetaphil. Uh, I use the word hate because it doesn't feel like cleansing. It just feels like it's very balmy. You don't even know if your face is cleansed thoroughly. True, I agree. And sometimes agree. we use sunscreen or yeah. you know sunblock, even a bit of foundation. You don't know whether you clean off thoroughly. Yeah, so okay. to me this, right, it is just a very gentle cleanser, but I don't think it's a deep cleansing. But I have no choice because the skin is so dry, so sensitive. Mm. I have to use something that retains the mm. moisture. Mm. Uh, actually, ever since um, the flare-up stops, I still continue to set a few because I realized one thing. Because it's a lot more moisturizing yeah. than a foaming cleanser. So it's suitable for both the face and the body as well. Mm. They have a, 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 a body version mm. and a face version. So honestly, I have not tried this before. But uh, it's all in Watson, Guardian. Yes, I mean, have you tried before? I have not okay. ever tried before. You tried the... Okay, come. The texture. Oh, wow. It's like a gel and yeah. texture. And you, and you try to... You see whether you can foam up. 
It just doesn't foam up. Mm, just that yeah. moisturizer. Yeah, mm. exactly. So when you wash your face, it's very weird. The sensation is like, eh, am I washing my face? Yeah. Because I it's like very smooth yeah. and very like... Can you're using like moisturizer. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it's like moisturizer. But you see, there's no foam. Mm. Uh, so for me, during this, that period, I was actually using this uh, delicate cleanser and this is actually from uh, IDS. So this is a cleanser from uh, for sensitive skin. So IDS is a uh, derm clinic that I actually go to. So I went to see the doctor during that period also just to find out what's going on. We couldn't really find a reason why. So what this cleanser does is, um, it's a bit foaming. So mm. if you're thinking that this doesn't foam, this foams. But as much as it foams, it doesn't strip away the moisture of the skin. So I don't mm. walk away feeling like it's eat, eat, eat mm, sound. Okay. But you feel cleansed, but at the same time, it, it feels very plumped and moisturized. Okay. So um, I actually use this uh, to cleanse my face. Um, but before I talk about, uh, I, I'm, I sort of regress a, a, a little bit, okay? Uh, like I mentioned, because I put on makeup, right? So yeah. I have to remove my makeup. Mm. You were using an oil cleanser yep. still to remove makeup. Uh, but I needed to move on to a balm. Because for oil cleanser, uh, I realized that the more I rub into the skin, I find that it gets red for some reason. It gets mm. redder at the skin. So I, I thought it I felt it was actually a bit more um, agitated than it was than usual. So before I actually use the cleanser, I use a cleansing balm. Uh, and this is a cleansing balm from uh, Polar Cosmetics. So uh, it's also a very uh, cream-like texture. But this one, medium to medium coverage foundation, you can remove. You also can remove your eye makeup you can remove all your makeup like, basically use this ready and then I use this to cleanse and it's all good to go I, I, I think I think here the tip is actually when you have eczema and you have flare ups like your face is red right mm. try to avoid using scrub yeah. and exfoliator and yeah. that's also advisable from the doctors mm. um, if you use too many scrubbing and exfoliation on a weekly basis your skin tends to be more sensitive and yeah. actually it's thinner Mm. and it will cause a lot of redness and easily when you go under the sun right you will be flare up and eczema will actually come true. out very easily true, true. so avoid all these exfoliating um, ingredients uh, mild, mild cleanser will actually help a lot yeah yeah. so what about this we see this lotion uh -huh. that is right beside the cleansing bar. this is very attractive you I see know. the packaging it's not a straight line eh? you can see it's curved I mean you know I'm a sucker for packaging right? <laughs> um, but it's good that this particular um, brand and the packaging and the product actually works. So earlier on, I was talking about how I was using the cleansing balm and then the cleanser. Uh, so after that, before I move into the next step, which I still have serum and all to, to keep the hydration level, to even pump up the hydration level, I need to prep my skin, right? So one of the things during that period was the first thing I, I actually removed from my regime was actually toner. I was using a lot of um, hydrating toner, mm -hmm. right? But I also realized that a lot of hydrating toner during that season when I was having sensitive skin made my skin a lot redder after using it. Because this is actually a hydrating lotion. So okay. the text, it works pretty much like a toner where it preps your skin. Mm -hmm. uh, but maybe it's a Japanese brand. Uh, you know how they will call it instead of a, a, a toner, they toner call it a lotion, lotion to prep your skin. So what it does it is that if you were to try the texture, it's like water, right? And the, the, the whole consistency is really like putting water on your skin. And then when you sort of pat it all in, so I don't use a cotton bud with it, you just kind of lightly pat it in. Your skin just feels very like, oh my god, I just drank a glass of water. Yeah, it's, it's really very light. Yeah, mm. it's like, I just drank a glass of water. Okay, so, you know, after cleansing and, you know, uh, preparing the skin, I think we know now that you know, basically cleansing, it's really part and parcel of managing dry and sensitive skin because it's not stripping off the moisture, mm. uh, not to irritate it with more cleansing agents, so mm. and so forth. I think the next group of product that we want to talk about is slightly more unique. They are like special treatments mm. uh, because when your skin is really inflamed, sensitive, you really want to make sure that it's treated the right way. Yeah. Uh, so today we have sort of like three different, I would say, uh, slightly more intense product to really make sure that you know the skin is dealt with properly okay maybe i start with this very first product that i, I sort of found on internet la. it's from bioderma it's actually called the insulating soothing repairing ointment it's not cream oh, it's not man, lotion man. okay i have to say this is really like you know like tiger balm yeah it's kawan you already sounded very oily yeah <laughs> it is very oily okay if you all have to try so on the face for the face on the face but okay. i have to 
but we have to really you have to spread it really spread it. the way the, the reason why I know because I, I tried this <laughs> yeah okay so story being right apart from my face right actually I have a lot of dry patches on my arm and feet as well so the very first time I saw this product on YouTube as well, it's actually a derm who recommended mm. this product. And she believes in this product because uh, she says that this is the most intense uh, product for um, crack and dry skin. Mm. Mm. So this product is like an ointment, uh, almost like a medication of sorts for dry skin. What I experienced is that, right, the very first time I used this, right, the dry skin overnight and it's almost as good as 50% improvement. Do you just say 50? 50? 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Wow. Yeah. So, okay, I think this is super good. You know, some of us, we have like crack heels. This is super for crack. Super good for crack heels. Oh, crack, wow. crack hands. You can try like, you know, we have all these little... Yeah. Uh, you can try. Gym goers? Yeah. Um, Weightlifters? <laughs> what I do with this product now is that I use it as a last step of my skincare oh, okay. to seal it up. To lock it all in, basically, mm. yeah? So okay. I apply a thick layer, mm -hmm. pat it, mm -hmm. slightly use your tissue to remove any excess, let it dry for slightly an hour before it goes to play, otherwise it will just rub off from pillowcase. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, this range, I believe you can't buy in Singapore off the shelf. Exactly, I don't see yeah. this purple. Mm. You can chain. only buy this online. I saw the one that is the blue one. And the, the green, green one. Green. Yeah. Mm. So the purple one is something that they don't carry in Singapore. Yes. Yeah. So okay. over to Chris, what about you? Um, because I do have flare ups like two weeks ago. Oh, you do? Really bad. Uh, I went to see a doctor and they gave me a steroid cream. Oh, uh, but you know, but you yeah. know, all of us don't yes. really like steroid, right? steroids. Yeah. yeah, because it could worsen the whole condition. Mm. So as a Dr. Judd fan, <laughs> and also their educator, yes. I think I have to trust their products, right? Of yes. And of course, we have the range of Dr. Judd um, Cicap Hair um, line that is actually soothing your skin a lot. So mm. my favorite is definitely the serum. Cicap Hair Serum. I believe um, Ian actually tried this a lot as well. Yes. And I'm not sure if you also tried it. Yeah. This is really something that changed my skin a lot mm. in terms of condition. Um, you know, sometimes when we are having eczema, redness, right? You always want something that's very quick and fast. Yes. And we have no time for all other applications. So this is something that I have only at two to three drops for day and night. And it actually helps my skin to soothe a lot. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. I, if you have not tried this, please, please go and try it. It's not because I'm the brand ambassador, <laughs> but mm. the it's, product it's really the product that mm. works. Yep. And also, it comes with the moisturizer. I think Yen will actually want to talk about mm. this. This one is also something which, uh, surprisingly, I really thought that it wouldn't help as much. But I have to say, when I first applied, right, I really take with a little of faith. It's almost uh, finishing. Yeah. Right? So my mindset back then, right, was there's this Chinese saying, si ma tang huo ma yu. <laughs> I really think that that's it. That's the worst my skin can get. I just try every shit, right? <laughs> To, to do a litmus test, but mm. yeah, so today this is a test of our, <laughs> our, our process. But later we'll talk a little bit more about this cream, which yeah. amazingly did well for me. Do you have a serum that you want to recommend us? Yes, mm. I, I do. And, and that serum, it's uh, again from Ideas, it's from mm. my derm. This is uh, from Ideas, it's called Recovery Serum. So what's interesting oh. about this product is that it's for sensitive skin, but more importantly, oh. I remember the lady at the counter was like telling me, okay, you use this, huh? that's it, you don't even use anything else. I was like, so how can it be? Yeah, I was just like, it's a desert here, okay? <laughs> I was like, no way. Really? So, can I just say that? I think on a regular basis, if you do not have a flare up, this can work by itself, plus a moisturizer would do. Mm. But I also a bit gansu and gansi lah, because it was so dry at that point. So this became a top on of uh, it's on top of whatever the regime that I had. And then after that, I will actually top uh, it up with a serum. After which, it's a moisturizer. moisturizer. So everything remains. I added a boost. For this. Mm. So in the day, um, well actually they say you use this for at night lah, but again, I'm like, you know, the more the better. So, so, so does the person actually do convince you? Well, I will say that I convinced myself more because I decided I needed more. She's like, just use this and not anything else. I like, no lah, no lah, no lah, you know, I'm like really like a dry queen during that period. I'm like, no. So I'm like, okay, so this is uh, on top of whatever else that I'm using. And I think it really helped because whatever I was using was just not enough. I think a lot of times when we think our skin is dry, we just want to slap on oil. But actually oil, sometimes they form a barrier from moisture from getting in. Mm. Of course, they also prevent moisture from getting out. But I think mm. what is important is really, uh, oil doesn't mean that it's the best 
to really rehydrate your skin. I think sometimes mm-hmm. like gel-based stuff probably is more, more well absorbed. I think the other thing that probably uh, a lot of us, we think that, oh, your skin, your skin is dry. Uh, apart from moisturizing, I, I think the other thing that we probably need to do is to repair the skin. Yes. I think a lot of times the moisture barrier is already, I think for my case, like what the derm told me is also, the skin moisture barrier is already down yeah. or yeah. it's bad. Yeah. Uh, you can rehydrate, but it doesn't retain. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I think uh, start with repairing first. You realize that all this tree serum, right? It's really about repairing. Mm. So repairing the skin, strengthening, strengthening the barrier, the barrier yeah. before not even before. I mean, you can do together. But at the end of the day, while you moisturize, the skin needs to hold yeah. up the moisture. I think yeah. that's quite key. The truth of the matter is. <sighs> I sigh when I say this. The truth of the matter is our skin will never remain the same. So yeah. instead of thinking like, oh, I'm using the same products again and again, I'm looking good, so on and so forth, you have to come to acknowledgement that at some point, things changes and you have to very quickly switch your game mm-hmm. and uh, know exactly what you need to do and be okay with it. Yeah, like you said, it's, it's really coming to terms. Uh-huh.